point and shoot are cameras that the lenses cannot be changed the cameras that have fixed lenses throughout the lens you buy with the camera that's the lens you're going to use for it. <laughs> Fan, filmmaker from the southern part of Nigeria, and welcome back to the channel. And if you didn't watch my last video, you really need to go watch that because this video is based off of that, it's a continuation from that video. So please, it's a pop up in the card up here, or it'll be down in the description below, so you guys can go watch that before you watch this. But for those of you who want to stay, you're welcome. So basically, what we're talking about DSLR camera types. My last video talked about this last specifically, but this video I'm going to show you guys types of cameras in general, and I'm going to make them in, in, into four groups: the mirrorless, the DSLR, the point and shoots, and the phone. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to start with the mirrorless cameras. What's a mirrorless camera? A mirrorless camera is a camera that does not have a mirror inside. Oh no! So I'm going to start with DSLR. A DSLR is a camera that has a mirror built in a physical mirror built into the body of the camera sensor or the camera in general which means you can use that mirror light reflects through the lens of the camera into a mirror up a prism and out the optical viewfinder nonsense right a viewfinder is basically that stuff you know that stuff you look through a camera that's what a viewfinder is called so a DSLR is optical which means it, it doesn't need to be powered by electricity it's optical it's light that reflects through the lens through that mirror up to that prism a prism in the top part and out the viewfinder which makes you see what you see which makes you see what you know you see through the lens so that's a busy that's what a DSLR is and the lens obviously can obviously be changed to anything depending on the mount of the camera depending on if the lens fits that camera body you can change the lens now a mirrorless camera is literally the same thing as a DSLR but with two differences which means that it does not have a, an optical viewfinder it has an electronic one an EVF which means the viewfinder because as name implies the mirrorless camera does, does, does not have a mirror inside which means um it doesn't have a mirror inside so how do you see through the viewfinder it's electronic which means it needs to be powered on before you can see through the lens there's no mirror inside and that's like the future right now that's like the basic if you want to buy a proper camera for higher end uses it's a mirrorless camera you need to go for they're like the best they're like the standard that they're like the gold standard right now for cameras then here then we have the point and shoot guys the point and shoots they are basically stimulus cameras yes but there's a fundamental difference between both of them uh, point and shoot as the name implies a point and shoot are cameras that the lenses cannot be changed the cameras that have fixed lenses throughout the lens you buy with the camera that's the lens you're going to use forever you be on all of those cameras that you see you know that are very small or like they they have this crazy zoom you, you know all those cameras the cameras that they're called point and shoots therefore like consumer ends yeah for people that that you know just want to have a camera around lying around in the house for like basic photos point and shoot and then we have the last layer phone if you know what the phone is a phone too is a mirrorless camera you know i'm going crazy right here but like what is different a mirrorless camera like if sorry a phone it's just a mirrorless camera because it doesn't have a mirror inside too yes but a phone the difference between all a phone and the rest is the sensor size like i said in my last video the sensor is reduced to fit um inside a phone and a phone is based on what we call computational photography with the phone is you can watch my last video to have more information about that so this video is for you this video is about like if you're in the market to buy a camera for yourself or for someone what do you get the person it depends on two things actually what the person wants to use the camera for and the person's budget you will find the, you get in all of these categories the DSLR the point and shoot the mirrorless and the phones you can find all of them 
have the, the campaign from prices from 200 um from like 50k nigerian area to about 2 million nigerian nigerian era, even the phones we all know how phones get expensive the phone yeah that their phones that get to that point you know these spe- special edition phones like custom phones you know limited edition phones those phones they can get to those prices so what do you get so yeah basically like i said the main thing is what you want to use the camera for then you can check the price so a point and shoot if you're somebody who doesn't really want to go in depth into video making or photography they just want to have a camera lying around your house that you can use to take photos of your family members your kids if you have any adults here i don't know or just it's just some stuff like you don't really want to go big a point and shoot is can be for you guys you know it, it's the picture quality it, it's not fantastic but like it's there it's there like you can you can grow with the mirrorless camera with the point and shoot it's just something that you have lying around you get it's just lying around then if, if you're somebody who wants to actually get serious with photography and videography you can get a DSLR or a mirrorless a mirrorless camera is like right, right now they're very expensive so like I think the cheapest one is like 500k in Nigerian I don't know I don't know but they're basically the same thing it depends on what you want to do before now when it comes to those aspects those guys of you who want to go seriously I recommend a DSLR or a mirrorless camera now that totally depends on you and your price range a DSLR I cannot tell you the brand like Nikon, Canon or Sony there's no better brand it, it, it depends on what your preference on your the one your hand reach yeah it's your preference I, I can't tell you like I use Canon but like Nikon there, there, there's some Nikon's that I want there's, there, there's some Sony's that like there's no perfect camera brand don't be deceived by anybody that there's no perfect camera brand every camera brand has its own specialty each one has its own flaws each one has its own benefits so and the phone i put it in the phone there because the phone is like the common use of everything you, you, you can use the phone to film videos to film to take photos and, and they look stellar i mean like the last post on my instagram page if you follow me on instagram by, by the way yeah you guys follow me on instagram please i need content i'm, I'm I, spe- I specialize in product photography so like you guys can always check that out some of them i i, I, t- I take them in my phone you might not believe me but like i do take them on my phone so like like i always say it's not in the hands it's not the camera you use per se it's the gear it's the person who uses the camera to get right the camera does not make you a better photographer it only improves your efficiency it, it improves your efficiency like you, you can give a, a beginner somebody who literally knows nothing about filmmaking or photography you, you can give him a camera that's priced at two million naira. You, you give him the camera you, you tell him go out and film something and you give someone who is a professional they are like a professional a seasoned professional a pro you can give him an, a phone a phone yes and you're going to i can guarantee you 200 percent that he's, he's, he's going to give you better quality videos than somebody who has that camera of two million naira and a phone of like 100k yes why because like it's skill the camera only helps you in efficiency not makes you a better photographer so i don't know if that helped you guys like you just it basically runs through all types of cameras remember the dslr the mirrorless cameras the point and shoots and um, the phones if you're somebody who wants to go to youtube i recommend a dslr or a mirrorless camera somebody who wants to just do just just have few f- photos around like you you don't really want to like take, take them out you know what i mean a point and shoot is good the phone somebody who literally doesn't have any way to get the camera right now your phone can serve right now you're good enough so how would i help you guys um once again i'm alex you guys can follow me on instagram hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one